today I'm making a recipe that's never let me down yet. It's from the Some Like It Paleo blog. I've adapted it a bit using butter instead of coconut oil, but it's a favorite in this house. It's pan seared scallops with bacon vinaigrette and pureed parsnips. So sit back and enjoy. You'll want to start with three large parsnips. We'll wash and peel them. Um, some people say that the smaller parsnips are more tender, but I've never had a problem with the large ones. We'll cut them into even pieces so that they all cook at about the same rate. Toss your parsnips in salt and pepper and add a drizzle of olive oil. We're going to spread them out single layer on a cookie sheet, which you can spray with some no-stick spray if you like. Make sure to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. If you need to, you can use two trays, as I did here. We're also going to add half a dozen cloves of peeled garlic. After 20 to 25 minutes, they're done. Feed your parsnips into the food processor. And the first thing we'll add is the coconut milk. You'll use about one third of a can, or half a cup. Next, we'll add a tablespoon of butter. I like to cut it into small pieces or partially melt it to help it mix in. Next, add a cup of your favorite chicken broth. Any broth will do. Adding the broth helps give it a nice and smooth texture. For the bacon vinaigrette, we're going to cook three or four slices of bacon. I prefer to cut my bacon in half, so it looks like eight slices here. So cook it until it's crispy. When your bacon is done, set it aside on a paper towel. Later on, when your bacon is cool, you can crumble it or shred it, and put it aside in a nice serving cup. After the bacon grease has had a little time to cool, add a quarter cup of chicken broth. Let it simmer. Next, we'll add some cornstarch. Put a tablespoon or two into a little bowl and mix it with water. Be sure to scrape the bottom of the bowl because you do tend to end up with clumps. You'll want to pour your mixture into the pan slowly and make sure that you stir all the while to help avoid clumps. The cornstarch will help give your vinaigrette a good thickness. When we finish mixing in the cornstarch, we'll increase the heat to a medium-high heat until there's only about half of the mixture left. As you can see, it's bubbling nicely and has thickened up. Next, we'll mix in a tablespoon of butter. As you can see, I've replaced the clarified butter, or ghee, and coconut oil with regular butter throughout this recipe. Simply because it's my own preference. Last, we'll add a couple of teaspoons of cooking sherry just to give it a little extra flavor. 
I think the pureed parsnip and bacon vinaigrette are a fantastic side and that they would do any meat justice. As you can see here, I'm using frozen scallops because I don't live anywhere near the sea, but I've given them the afternoon to defrost. Next, we'll make sure to pat them dry. We'll melt our butter in the pan and make sure to add salt and pepper to both sides of the scallops. Then we'll settle them all in to cook. I like to cook them on a medium high heat. While they're cooking, this would be a good time to crumble your bacon and get it ready to serve. If you need to, you could also use this time to microwave your parsnips just to make sure they're still hot enough to serve. The scallops only need about a few minutes on each side to cook. And there you have it. Pureed parsnips, bacon vinaigrette, scallops, and a little bit of crumbled bacon on top.